In this video, we're going to show you how to download the content for the DemiQuiz software. Here I am at the DemiQuiz.com webpage. Uh, coaches and some students will recognize this. And the first thing we have to do is to log in with the login that, uh, for the coach. Here I'm going to log in with coach permissions. And I need to download the materials. So I'll go to download files. And if I have bought the complete course of study, we have this can be done in a very short order. I would go to all subjects and then go to demi quiz exams. And that actually means quizzes and exams, and it will show you whatever is available for downloading for demi quiz. The uh, other side of the download is to download the demi quiz flashcards. And if you have bought all subjects, then when you click on that, you will see a single file here that contains all of the flashcards that Demi Quiz has put out, or Demi Deck has put out. Okay, so if you have bought the complete course of study, you can do these in three files, or as the others come in, the specifically the comprehensive exams could be put in here too. Uh, you can download these in three or four quick downloads, and for the flashcards, if you have bought all the subjects area, subject areas, you can download these all at once. Um, if you bought them in pieces, for example, if you didn't buy the complete course of study, but you bought uh, just the leveled exams, for example, then when you got to demi quiz exams, uh, you would actually have to go to leveled exams to see that. And you can still see that here. If we go to leveled exams and click on each subject. Let's say we go to art. Okay, so then the uh, art leveled exams for demi quiz show up here as an individual file. So if you don't have the complete course of study or if you bought just parts of the curriculum, the materials will still be there. If they're not, let me know. Okay. Um, now, after you've gotten these things downloaded, then you'll just go through a process inside the Demi Quiz software to import them. Now, while we're here in the website, there's one other thing you may wish to do. And that is to restrict your student downloads so that the students cannot download tests that you may want to give on paper under more controlled conditions later on. I'm going to click on my student logins. Uh, I'm logged in here as a coach and so when these come up only the coaches get to see this. The username and password for your student login is here. If you have not set up a student login uh, you won't you won't have any problem because your students won't be able to log in. I wouldn't give them your coach password and log in because you they'll be able to download anything. Over here on the student exam download permissions then you can check the things that you wish to let your students download through the student login and leave unchecked anything you don't want to give them permissions to download. So right now, I've given them permissions to download the section exams and the focused quizzes, but I have not given them permission to download the leveled exams. Now to show you how that works, let's go ahead and log out and log back in using the student login. And go to download files. And now we're going to look for those same things. Under um, all subjects, I'll go to Demi Quiz Exams, and it looks like I have the same thing the coaches have. So if we look at Focused Quizzes, click on it. There's a link to download the Focused Quizzes. To get these, I would right-click and Save Link As, and it will give me a. It'll allow me to select a location for my downloads. Let's look at the leveled. The leveled was, was not checked in the permissions form, and so when the student goes to download the leveled exams, the link is missing. That's how we control for uh, the things that you want to hold back. And then under the section exams, we allowed those, and so the link pops up, and the, you can right-click and save link as, and download those materials there. So through the use of the student download permissions, you can hold back certain tests you may want to give as paper and pencil tests at a later date. The rest of them, the ones you're giving the students permission to download, 
then you're you're giving them the answers and you're also allowing them to download the paper and pencil versions also you don't want them to see those ahead of time when you give those as a test in class or something then by all means don't give them permissions to see them in DemiQuiz because then they'll be familiar with all the questions when the exact wording of all the questions okay so that's the way that the system is set up now and I hope this uh, video helps you to have a good experience with your DemiQuiz software